What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement slash platinum trophy walkthrough for Super Onion Boy 2. This game is published by Rattalaka Games and it's developed by Power Slash Studios, and you can pick it up today for a price of $4.99, and at the time of recording this video, it's currently on sale for only $3.99 if you want to pick it up right now. So to get the full completion, it'll only take you around 15 to 30 minutes depending on your skill. You just have to finish the first eight levels and collect a total of 40 stars along the way. And overall, it's pretty easy and straightforward. So this is a platformer and your objective is to make your way all the way over to the right side of the screen to finish each level. And along the way, you need to collect some stars and open up some chests to get different costumes since there's an achievement for finding each costume. And as for the stars, there's five stars per level and you need to collect a total of 40. So I recommend collecting all of the stars in the first eight levels to get your completion as quickly as possible. And if you happen to miss a star, you can just go back using the chapter select and mop up anything you miss. And I'm also gonna have timestamps to each level if you're just looking for a specific one. All right, so starting off here, you can open up this red chest. The red chests just give you coins and health, and you can make your way over to the right side, and there's gonna be some enemies over here. And if you need to, you can jump on their head to destroy them. But personally for me, I'm just gonna be running past all of the enemies since there's no achievement for killing them or anything. So you can just ignore the enemies. And over here, you can get your first star. So make sure you collect that. And continue over to the right, you're gonna open up this blue chest here, and the blue chests give you little abilities. So you can pick that up and you'll turn into a ninja and now you have projectiles that you can throw, and you can double jump, so make your way all the way up here on top of these floating platforms and collect your second star. And then from there, you can drop down and continue making your way over to the right side. Again, just ignore the enemies and make your way over here. Go ahead and open up these chests here and get some health if you took any damage. And also, there's a checkpoint right here, and if you die, you'll respawn right here. So continue making your way over to the right side. And over here, we're going to have to drop down into the water to get a little star down here. So drop down here, collect that star. You should now be at three. And then continue making your way over to the right side. And there's going to be this little stone wall over here that we need to destroy using our projectile. Again, you can open up that chest if you want. But make your way over here and use the X button or square if you're on PlayStation to throw your projectiles and destroy that wall. And then head through this little secret door here using up on the D-pad and then collect that star. And if you want, you can collect the coins, but again, there's not really any point to collect them, so I'm going to ignore them, and I'm going to head back out and continue making my way to the right side of the level. And over here, we can collect our final star and finish the level by collecting this little gem or whatever. And you should also get an achievement for collecting your first five stars. And now I can move on to level two. All right, so starting off at level two, surprise, surprise, we're gonna continue heading over to the right side of the screen. Again, just ignore the enemies. You can open up this chest here if you want to for some extra health and continue heading over here. And eventually we're gonna see our first star at the end of this cliff over here. So make sure you collect that and then continue heading over to the right. You wanna jump up on this hill here, be careful of the enemy. You can go ahead and take him out. And up here you can collect star number two, and then you can continue heading over to the right side, and there's gonna be a blue chest that we can open up, and we're gonna get the mage ability, and you should also unlock the achievement slash trophy. And we also got a checkpoint, so make your way over to the right side here, use this green spring to collect the star on the left side right here, and then use the spring to jump over the big hill over on the right side. Jump up on the floating platform and be careful of the enemies. You can use your projectile to take them out and continue making your way over to the right side. You can drop down and just run all the way over here. And the next star is gonna be down below. So what I recommend doing here is just taking out these enemies here since they're kind of annoying. So go ahead and take these enemies out and slowly make your way down to the lower level and collect the star. Once you have the star, just ignore the enemies and jump back up top and make your way all the way over to the right side of the screen. And now we're just missing one more star. Right there, I took some damage, but it's okay. Just keep making your way over to the right side, collect the final star right here, and finish the second level. All right, so starting off on level three, you can make your way over to the right side. And if you want to, you can ignore that first red chest there. Personally, I'm gonna ignore it and I'm gonna open up this blue one over here. And we're gonna get the little bubble ability and that should give you an achievement slash trophy. And now we can make our way back over to the left side and we need to float using this bubble. So when you jump, just hold down the jump button and you'll float. And you need to float all the way over to the right side here and collect that star. Now you can make your way over to the right, and again, you can read this little sign here. It'll basically tell you how to use the bubble. So again, when you jump, just keep holding down the jump button to float. 
collect that second star and keep making your way over to the right side. And over here we need to drop down into the water and head through the secret door and make your way over to the right side, exit this secret door here, and we're going to end up outside by another star, so go ahead and collect that star, and then again, jump back up top and make your way over to the right. And over here you can open up another blue chest and get your bubble ability back if you didn't collect it, and a checkpoint, you want to float over to the right side of the screen, make sure you collect that star, and you should now be at 4, and continue making your way over to the right side of the screen here, you can open up this red chest if you need some health. And over here we're going to collect our final star, so continue making your way over to the right, and collect the star right over here. And then you can head over to the right, and finish the level. Alright, so as usual, make your way over to the right side of the screen here, ignore these crabs, and we can collect our first star right there. And again, continue making your way over to the right side, and there's going to be a red chest over here that you can collect and get some extra health if you need it. I'm going to ignore it and continue making my way over to the right side. And over here is going to be the second star, make sure you collect that, and again, continue heading over to the right. And over here you want to make your way on top of the floating platforms, collect the third star, and continue heading over to the right. And we're going to get a checkpoint over here. And you want to make sure you open up this red chest here since it's going to give us the invincibility potion. And that'll unlock the achievement slash trophy. And now you can basically just run all the way over to the right side of the screen, make sure you collect that star there. And we're almost done with the level, collect the fifth star right here, and then you can go ahead and finish the level. Alright, so level 5, make your way over to the right side, collect the first star right here, and again, continue making your way over to the right. And we need to push this box over to the right so we can climb up on this mountain here, and open up the chest, and get a star. So, collect that star at the top right here, and continue making your way over to the right. Careful of these little red crabs, they throw fireballs and they're pretty annoying. So, again, just make your way over to the right side. Make sure you collect the third star here and open up the chest to get the mage outfit. And then you can make your way over to the right and there's going to be some enemies down here that you can go ahead and take care of using your little projectile attack. And make your way over to the right and head through the door. And when you head through this door here, you want to be careful since there's going to be an enemy on your left and right side. You can go ahead and take them out using your projectiles and then collect the fourth star. And be careful over here, there's another one of those crabs that throws fireballs and he can easily take you out. So ignore him, make your way through the door, and we're going to get a checkpoint over here. And again, you can continue heading over to the right side. There's going to be two, two chests over here as well as another crab that's super annoying. So make sure you take him out. And then you can go ahead and open open the chests, and we're going to get a bubble ability. And again, we need to float across using the bubble. So when you jump, just hold down the button and make your way across to the right side. And over on the right side here, there's going to be a big hill, and we need to collect the fifth star. Be careful since there's some enemies around, but collect that star, and then make your way over to the right side, and you can finish the level. Alright, so starting off on level 6, you can make your way over to the right side, and you can jump up here and push this box down over to the right, so we can use it to jump across the spikes. So push it all the way over here, jump across, you can open up this chest here for some extra health, and continue making your way over to the right side. You can collect our first star right here, and again, make your way over to the right. And be careful, over here we're going to enter this pipe Mario style, don't go all the way over to the right. So press down on the d-pad, enter this pipe here. And now we're going to be swimming down here, and we can make our way over to the right. Be careful, there's going to be some fishes that sort of swim towards you, and you'll have to dodge them. And uh, jump across the gap here, collect the second star, and continue making your way over to the right. And over here you want to go ahead and take this crab out since he's pretty annoying and he'll damage you as you're trying to collect the star. So you want to do a uh, slight jump 
and collect that star and then continue making your way over to the right and we're gonna get a checkpoint over here and be careful since there's gonna be some more fishes that we're gonna have to dodge and there's also a chest that you can open up if you need some health and uh, first we're gonna collect the fourth star so make sure you do that and you can open up the chest and collect the health and then make your way over to the right and we can use this spring here to jump up and we're gonna be done with the underwater section and once you're up here you want to head to the left and collect the final star and then you can make your way over to the right and we're gonna open up the chest and get the mage ability and there's gonna be a little mini boss fight over here so it's basically gonna be like one of the giant octopuses in the bubble or whatever and you just need to use your mage ability the x attack to go ahead and take him out just spam it like crazy and eventually you'll go ahead and take him out and it's not too hard and uh, then you can head over to the right and finish the level. Alright, so starting off, you want to make your way over to the right and jump up on this hill here. Be careful, there's going to be a few enemies, and you can collect the first star. And then make your way over to the right side. Be careful, there's going to be some bugs that you can jump on. And over here, you need to use this enemy to collect the stars. So as you jump on that enemy, make sure you hold down the A button, and that'll send you flying, and you'll collect the star there. And you can continue heading over to the right. And over here you can open up the blue chest and get the mage ability, which will help you take out some of the enemies in this next section. So make your way over to the right, and this section's a little tricky, there's going to be a moving platform that you have to jump on. So jump over here, make sure you collect the third star, and continue making your way over to the right. Jump across to the next platform here when it's safe to do so. Collect the fourth star and make your way over to the right. Jump across to the moving platform and there's going to be a star. You can jump all the way over to the right to this little platform over here and you'll be safe. And you can head over to the right and you'll finish the level. Alright, so now we're on the final level here and as usual we're going to make our way over to the right side. Ignore the enemies and eventually we're going to come to a little green spring that we can use to collect the second star just over here. So jump up here, collect that star and make your way over to the right. Use the second spring to jump up on the mountain up here and continue making your way over to the right. Collect the second star there as you jump across to the platform and make your way over here and uh, ignore the enemies. And over here we're going to get our first checkpoint so go ahead and collect that. And then jump down here and we can open up the blue chest to get the ninja ability and now we can use the x ability to destroy the rocks over here and that's going to open up a little secret spring and we can jump all the way up here and we can collect the third star of the game and personally for me this is the only really like hidden one so once you collect that you can drop down and continue making your way over to the right side collect the fourth star there use this little floating platform and make your way over to the right and up here you can open up this red chest and get some health if you need to. I'm personally just going to ignore it and make my way all the way over to the right. And you can collect the final star right here. And you can go ahead and finish the level. And if you collected 40 stars, that should be your full completion. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful. And please consider subscribing for more guides just like this. And I will see you guys next time. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Spangy1, Tim G84, Cursed Souls, and Fazo Prime Pirate. And I'd also like to give a special shout out to my first legend supporter, Nico No Nioi. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.